కందిలోని ఐఐటి హైదరాబాద్ ను వర్చువల్ గా ఢిల్లీ నుండి జాతికి అంకితం చేసిన ప్రధానమంత్రి నరేంద్ర మోడీ హైదరాబాద్ ఐఐటి క్యాంపస్ లో ఏర్పాటు చేసిన కార్యక్రమంలో తెలంగాణ గవర్నర్ తమిళిసై ఐఐటి డైరెక్టర్ బిఎస్ మూర్తి ఐఐటి చైర్మన్ బోర్డ్ ఆఫ్ గవర్నెన్స్ బివిఆర్ మోహన్ రెడ్డి ఐఐటి అధ్యాపకులు సిబ్బంది పాల్గొన్నారు
for dedicating so many developmental projects, particularly educational expansion of educational institutions. And I thank him for all the developmental activities in the great country of Bharat. Sri Suzuki Hiroshi, ambassador of Japan to India, and I really appreciate his uh, language spirit, opened with uh, the language of, of our Telugu as uh, Amaskaram and Danya Vadalu. Really appreciate his spirit, and uh, he told if he would have been a student, he would have been allowed to study here, and I'm really happy to hear him. I am my respect to him. Dr. BVR Mohan Redigaru, Chairman Board of Governors, IIT Hyderabad. And when Professor Murthy mentioned that BOG Chairman Mohan Garu, Mohan Reddy Garu was the longest chairman he told. According to me, I can add, he's the strongest chairman also. Because he, when he came for the previous program, the way he dealt with the students and how he is helping the students for innovation and helping them and entrepreneurship, it is highly appreciable. And I am really very happy. And my respect to Professor B.S. Murthy, Director, IIT Hyderabad. When we see a parent, no mother, the mother will tell us, you know, my child will walk like this. My child will talk like this. My child will dance like this. So when I see him, his body language, it is almost a mother seeing the institution growing. So my classrooms will be like this. My auditorium will be like this. My innovative hub life will be like this. So seeing him, I am seeing a mother in him seeing the institution growing and ex exactly expressing like a mother, see my institution, see the campus, and so many things are doing. And he told uh, our students are staying in the hostels, and when they come to the class, they will... IIT Hyderabad, which came as a second generation IIT in 2008, always wanted to be different in every aspect, and wanted to see how we can come out of the straight-jacketed way of learning. Most of us, you know, all the professors sitting here would know that when we were all students, uh, undergraduate students, it was more or less the very straight-jacketed learning. Very little of interdisciplinarity was there. Whereas IIT Hyderabad, from the day one, uh, uh, has always thought how we can bring in more children. We strongly believe at IIT Hyderabad that education should be student-centered. It should give flexibility, it should bring freedom uh, to the students so that they can choose what they want to. For example, we have an undergraduate program at IIT Hyderabad, which is called Engineering Sciences, Madam, B.Tech in Engineering Sciences, which no other IIT has, where a student can join and in four years they can pick up any subjects of their choice. A few mechanical, few electrical, few computer science, and finish the whole four years in principle. Okay, which is a very uh, unique, and I would say a revolutionary model of doing. Similarly, we have something like the history of uh, IIT Hyderabad. Today is a very momentous day. IIT Hyderabad has been in existence for the last 15 years, and the relentless amount of effort that all of you have put, you built brick by brick in making this wonderful campus. You saw what we all have happened in this particular campus over a period of last 15 years. It's just not filling the space of 523 acres, but actually building a campus with several facilities, the infrastructure, the laboratories, and several more. Today we'll have the honor of having this campus dedicated to the nation by Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, in uh, about uh, half an hour or so from now. So it is indeed a very unique occasion, a momentous occasion for all of us. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank every stakeholder. Thank